At some point in your life as a photographer or a videographer, YouTuber, you're gonna to wanna to have a 50 millimeter lens. They look amazing and they're normally pretty affordable. The gold standard is the plastic Nifty 50, but I might have found the new king of the Nifty 50 title, that is this Viltrox 50 millimeter F1.8. Let's get into it. Full disclosure, Viltrox sent me this lens for review. I do get to keep it after making this video, but I was not paid by Viltrox and they do not get to see this video before I post it. Let's talk about the build quality of this Viltrox 50 millimeter 1.8. It's an all metal body. It's got a nice metal focusing ring and you also get a nice little aperture ring as well if you want to fix your aperture or it will click back into auto. The build quality on this lens is basically identical to the other Viltrox lens I've reviewed in the past, the 24 millimeter. If you want to check it out, go ahead and click up there. Overall, the build quality is really nice and it makes it feel like it's a more expensive lens. The image quality of the Viltrox 50 millimeter 1.8 is awesome. It's very sharp, even down at 1.8 and you get that nice bokeh in the background, nice blurred out imagery in your photos and in your video. The only downside to the image quality is that there is some purple fringing on like 1.8 so you have to stop it down to get rid of the purple fringing or if you're just using Lightroom you can press to remove chromatic aberration and that should help you out. Alright let's talk about autofocus. The Viltrox in photo mode is pretty snappy and reliable. I haven't really had any issues with it. It is pretty much on par with the 24 millimeter that I had tested previously. But I have noticed in video mode sometimes that this lens really is hunting to find the subject. Now I've tested this a few times and I've noticed that it struggles the most when it's in more challenging lighting conditions. So if it's more of backlighting or you have, you know, a dark subject and then the background is really bright or vice versa, it just kind of seems like it's hunting and it's working to find the subject. Now this might just be an issue with the certain copy that I received. Uh, I'm not sure if other people are having those problems. Maybe let me know in the comments down below, but it's just something that I want to make sure that you're aware of. Now you do also get the option to update the firmware on this lens. There's a nice little USB-C connector on the back, but for me, uh, maybe it's because I use Macs or I don't speak whatever foreign language the program was in, I could not figure out how to update the firmware on this lens. So I don't know, maybe a firmware would help fix the autofocus, but again, I just can't figure it out. All right, let's talk about the price and how this compares to the Sony Nifty 50. At the time of this recording, this Viltrox 50 millimeter 1.8 lens is $359 compared to the Sony Nifty 50 lens, which is $248. So for a $100 price difference, what are you paying for and where is the difference? Really the biggest difference between these two lenses is the build quality. You have the Viltrox lens being made fully out of metal. It's heavier, it feels nice in the hands, it feels a bit more sturdy and professional and like it's gonna last a long time versus the Sony lens, which is made pretty much completely out of plastic. Because of that, it is very light. Uh, you don't feel maybe as connected to it, so you're not treating it super, super nicely, but it may have some issues for you in the longevity department. The other small differences are like the aperture ring and that USB-C connection to update the firmware directly on the Viltrox lens. Now, if your biggest concern is image quality alone, then I think either one is good. It's really not a big difference between these two. I've used both lenses. I think they're both really nice for the price that you're paying for them. I would just say, if you want something that's a little nicer in the hand, a little bit more sturdy, nice metal construction, then go for the Viltrox 50 millimeter lens. So I'm curious to know as we wrap up the video, do you have a 50 millimeter lens? Do you have a nifty 50? Have you ever owned one in the past? What's your 50 millimeter story? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey, if you got value out of this video, why don't you go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss out anytime I post a new video. <sighs> Well, if you want to look for some more videos to watch, check them out here. Uh, you know, leave a little comment, leave a little like, help out with the algorithm and all that stuff. Well, hey, until the next time, my name is Exopack. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.